Fairfield Federal in cooperation with Interface Video presents the 172nd Annual Fairfield County Fair. Brought to you in part by Cryo Communications, Bay Food Market, Dagger Law, The Frankie Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield County Parks, Fairhope Hospice and Palliative Care, Buckeye Lake Marina, The Frame Shop, Fairfield Medical Center, Buckeye Toyota, and Foltz Ag. Good evening. As president of the Fairfield County Junior Fair Board, I am pleased to welcome you all to the 2022 Junior Fair Panorama. We are excited to highlight the accomplishments of our 4-H and FFA members. Our MC for this evening is Tina Thompson, host of the Down, host of the Down Home with Tina television show. Her television show features fun and inspirational interviews that will brighten and bring joy to your day. It will remind you of the amazing and, and, and inspirational people we have in this world. As she always says, live, learn, and love. Please help me welcome Miss Tina Thompson. Thank you. We begin our program tonight with a special time to remember those men and women who serve in our armed forces. Without their bravery, we would not enjoy the freedoms we have today. It is also important to take a moment to remember all the individuals who have been a tremendous part of this great fair through the years, but who are no longer with us. While they are not present physically, they will forever remain in the memories and thoughts we share of them. Please join me in a moment of silence for all of these special individuals. Thank you. We now invite Allison Sponseller, Secretary of the Fairfield County 4-H Junior Leadership Club to the stage to lead the pledges. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Now please join me in the 4-H pledge. As a true 4-H member, I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to very loyalty, my hands to our service, my health to better living, for my club, my community, my country, and my world. At this time, I would like to welcome Adriana Rodriguez Dinner and Henry Hoisington the stage. Adriana is the 2022 Junior Fair Board Vice President of Publicity and Finance. She represents 4-H on the board and is a member of the Shooting Stars 4-H Club. Henry is the 2022 Junior Fair Board Vice President of Programming. He represents 4-H and FFA on the board and is a member of the Wild About Animals 4-H Club and Bloom Carroll FFA Chapter. Adriana and Henry will now introduce the members of the 2022 Junior Fair Board. Will the, mem will the members of the 2022 Junior Fair Board please stand to be recognized as I call your name. We ask that you remain standing until all members have been introduced. Audience, please hold your applause until all the board members are recognized. Thank you. Morgan Cowdery, President, 4-H and FFA representative member of Final Drive 4-H Club and the Amanda Clear Creek FFA Chapter. Annie Deo, Secretary, FFA Representative, member of the Fairfield Union FFA Chapter. Lily Dennis, Corresponding Secretary, 4-H and FFA Representative, member of the Amanda Work and Wind Tractor Maintenance 4-H Clubs and the Amanda Clear Creek FFA Chapter. Molly Barber, 4-H Representative, member of the Green Extreme 4-H Club. Megan Bosch, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the AC Extreme 4-Hers 4-H Club and the Amanda Clear Creek FFA Chapter. Kyle Buckwalter, 4-H representative, 
member of the Pickerington Clovers 4-H Club. Aubrey Duke Ward, 4-H representative, member of Awesome Animals 4-H Club. Evelyn Hill, 4-H representative, member of the Shooting Stars 4-H Club. Lexi Heim, 4-H representative, member of the Blazing Buckeyes 4-H Club. Kate Johnson, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Carroll County 4-Hers 4-H Club and Bloom Carroll FFA chapter. Lauren Kidd, 4-H representative, member of the Cloverleaf Livestock 4-H Club. McKenna Liff, 4-H representative, member of the All, All the King's Horses 4-H Club. And Caitlin Likens, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Carroll County's 4-Hers 4-H Club and the Bloom Carroll FFA chapter. Kate Markwood, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Count Country Kids 4-H Club and Fairfield Union FFA chapter. Zoe Matz, 4-H representative, member of Thurston Flying Fingers and Thurston Future Farmer 4-H Clubs. Carly Miller, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Country Kids 4-H Club and Fairfield Union FFA chapter. Emma Morton, 4-H representative, member of the Pickerington Clovers 4-H Club. Madison Nutter, 4-H representative, member of the Four-Legged Friends 4-H Club. Gabrielle Rozier, 4-H representative, member of the Golden Clovers 4-H Club. Cole Rowley, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Falcon 4-Hers 4-H Club and the Fairfield Union FFA chapter. Hannah Song, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Blue Ribbon Showman 4-H Club and the Amanda Clear Creek FFA chapter. Allison Sponseller, 4-H representative, member of the Wild About Animals 4-H Club. Georgia Starner, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Country Kids 4-H Club and the Fairfield Union FFA chapter. Gus Swinehart, 4-H representative, member of the Pygmies Plus 4-H Club. Abby Todd, 4-H representative, member of the Wild About Animals 4-H Club. Jaden Triplett, 4-H and FFA representative, member of the Rough Riders 4-H Club and the Fairfield Union FFA chapter. Dominic Woods, 4-H representative, member of the Extraordinary Explorers 4-H Club. Cece Woods, 4-H representative, member of the Extraordinary Explorers and Thurston Flying Fingers 4-H Clubs. Now to introduce our adult advisors to the 2022 Junior Fair Board. Chuck Miller, our Junior Fair Board Director. Phil Miller, Assistant Junior Fair Director. Leslie Cooksey and Aubrey Fowler, Ohio State University Extension 4-H Youth Development Educators. Jenna Kemmerer and Brandon Thomas, Agricultural Education Instructors and FFA Advisors. Angela Kreil and Troy Orth, 4-H Advisors. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. We want to take a moment to thank our Junior Fair Board sponsors, Sam and Aaron Mosley, in memory of Louisa and Eleanor Mosley, for name badges and for our new members, Lauren Moore, Mark and Heidi Deo, Alice Brewing, Cryo Communications, Fitzpatrick Enterprises, and Doug Shell for our jackets for our new members. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Junior Fair Board members have been working hard to help make shows run smoothly, along with coming up with additional activities in which fairgoers may participate. This year, we are sponsoring the Buyer Thank You Poster Contest and the Junior Fair Night on Tuesday here in the Feeder Creek Show Arena. We would like to invite everyone to come and participate in these activities. The Junior Fair Board is also honored to sponsor the Friend of the Junior Fair Award. Nominees for this award were nominated by agriculture education students, 4-H members, and community members in Fairfield County. Those nominated should have a strong influence in agriculture and contribute to the lives of Junior Fair members and the Fairfield County Junior Fair. This year, we are honored to recognize two deserving recipients that are no longer here with us. Our first Friend of the Junior Fair Award is being given to a person who had a true passion for the Fairfield County Junior Fair Pygmy Goat Program. She could be found in the Brown Cattle Barn helping members get ready for shows and making sure exhibitors knew what was expected of them. Not only did she help expand the Pygmy Goat Show 
who also hosted species clinics for exhibitors to practice prior to fair. She was a wonderful person who would go above and beyond for her friends, families, and exhibitors. She made the Junior Fair program stronger by being a part of it and is truly missed. We are honored to announce one of this year's recipients of the 2022 Friend of the Junior Fair Award is Treva Stevens. Her daughters are here to accept this award on her behalf. Thank you for sharing your mom with us and sharing her love of the Pygmy Goat Show. The next recipient of this year's award was certainly dedic was dedicated and supportive of 4-H, FFA, and the Junior Fair. He could be found behind the scenes making sure that our barns were set up, the fairgrounds looked nice, and the exhibitors had everything they needed. He served the Fairfield County Fair for 30 years and was a wealth of knowledge for so many. He was a huge supporter of making sure the Junior Fair youth had the best experience and would lend a hand wherever he could. We were lucky to have him as part of our team. At this time, I would ask for Mandy to join us on stage as well as Barb Lamp. On behalf of the Fairfield County Ag Society, Barb is presenting the Russell Ault Award to Bill Danner. The Junior Fair Board is also honored to present the 2022 Friend of the Junior Fair Award to Bill Danner. Congratulations to the 2022 recipients of the Friend of the Junior Fair Award, Bill Danner and Treva Stevens. Let's give their families, along with the Junior Fair Board members, a nice round of applause for all the work they do for our Junior Fair. Thank you. This evening, we have county livestock representatives with us. I invite all of you to come on stage now to be introduced and tell us about the junior shows your commodity will be presenting during the fair. Twenty twenty two Fairfield County Alpaca Ambassador Caitlin Winkup. So, why don't you share with everybody what to expect this year at, with your industry? So, the Alpaca Show is going to be on Tuesday at ten a.m. in the Round Cattle Barn. And they're seating upstairs also, so you can go on the bottom or upstairs. Thank you. The 2022 Fairfield County Canine Ambassador, Lacey Bachman. Hi, Lacey. So you would, would you like to share about your industry for this year at the fair? Um, so... The dog show will be hosted at 8 in the morning tomorrow here in the Feeder Creek Arena. Exhibitors are going to be participating in showmanship, obedience, and in agility. So I would like to invite all of you to come and support our canine exhibitors. The 2022 Fairfield County Caprine representative, Alyssa Swick. And what would you like to share with everybody for this year at the Fairfield County Fair? Um, I would like to invite everyone to the Pygmy Goat Show Monday morning at 11 a.m. in the Round Cattle Barn. And then I would like to invite you all to the Dairy Show at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, followed by the Market Show at 12.30, which can both be found in the number 50 show arena. 
Thank you. And now moving along, 2022 Fairfield County Dairy Ambassador, Addison Squibb. And what would you like to tell everybody about what you've got going on this year? I would like to invite everyone to the Dairy Theater Show Tuesday at 4 p.m. and the Dairy Reading Show at 10 a.m., both held in the round category. Thank you. The 2021 Fairfield County Equine Ambassador, Sophia Guglimato. Hi, so we have an abundance of things going on this week. So um, starting Wednesday, we have showmanship and English. Thursday, we have trail and western and ranch. Friday, we have contesting. And be sure to join us tomorrow for our flag ceremony uh, in the arena that starts at 1130. We will also have club recognition and crowning of our new equine ambassador. Wonderful, thank you. And now for this year's Fairfield County Lamb and Wool Queen, Morgan Cowdery. Hello, I would like to invite you all to our sheep show this Wednesday starting at 8.30 here in the Feeder Creek Show Arena. We'll be starting with showmanship followed by breeding and market. And our guys and gals lead contest will start at 7.30 in the afternoon. And for Fairfield County Poultry Ambassadors, Savannah Ashton and Kate Johnson. And what would the two of you like to share? I would like to invite everyone out to our poultry show. Um, it, so it starts tomorrow evening at um, 6 p.m. for the showmanship. And then the following day, we continue on with the turkey show at 10 a.m. We will also have our breeding and market show on Monday, October 10th. All of the poultry shows will be held in the 50 building this year. Thank you all for coming tonight, and we hope to see you there. And the 2022 Fairfield County Rabbit Representatives, Logan Hampton and Gabrielle Rozier. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. we will have our pet rabbit show. And on Wednesday at 8 a.m. we'll have our market rabbit show, followed by showmanship roughly after lunch. Following that, we will have our breeding show starting at 10 a.m. on Thursday. And then on Friday, we will have sales starting at 10 a.m. We thank you all for coming tonight and invite you out to the Wapo. And the Fairfield County Swine Ambassador for 2022, Grace Ahrens. I would like to invite everyone out to watch the Swine Showmanship tomorrow at 3 p.m. in this arena. And then on Monday, we will be opening the fair at 8 a.m., followed by the Swine Market Show at 8.30. It is an honor having you with us tonight, everybody that is here, and we hope that you all enjoy being here. And we're going to move on. Thank you to our ambassadors. <laughs> FFA chapters in Fairfield County were well represented on the state and national level this year. I would like to welcome to the stage Jenna Kimmerer, FFA advisor for Fairfield Union, to introduce these outstanding youth and recognize their achievements. On behalf of the Fairfield County FFA Advisors, it is an honor to recognize this evening uh, our American degrees, our state degrees, and our proficiency awards. We have uh, five schools and a career center in our county that all have FFA chapters. And it's really cool because they all have uh, a variety of programs and classes, and then to see our students be able to leave the classroom and implement those in their lives is, um, is awesome. So, 
The first one, the American FFA degree demonstrates the highest level of commitment and participation in the FFA organization. Less than half a percent of FFA members will receive this award, making it one of the organization's highest honors. Um, on October 30th, the American degree recipients will receive this award at the National FFA Convention and Expo in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, would the American degree recipients please come up to the stage? Uh, I will note that a lot of our members um, are, are, I should say, in college or in school locally, in a trade school, in the military, and so sometimes it's difficult for them to come back because they have to be a graduate in order to receive this award. And so we still want to recognize them, even though they couldn't be with us uh, here this evening. Uh, and um, we'll call out all the names anyways. All right. So from Liberty Union, we had Brody Poston, Brooke Blancet, Ethan Caper, Gavin Sims, Courtney Kaufman, Lindsay Robinson, and Michaela Sage. From Amanda Clear Creek, we had Stephanie Bowers. From Fairfield Union, we had Ali Baker, Braden Barber, Nick Barrett, Jeff King, Josh Starner, Alyssa Swick, Brooklyn DeFazio, Colt Dennis, Nate McCandlish, and Trevor Thomas. So if we could please give them a round of applause. So Ohio FFA has roughly 28,000 FFA members. Um, across Ohio, and so uh, as juniors and seniors and graduates, they can receive their state FFA degree. Uh, this is the highest degree an FFA member can achieve while in high school. These members have participated in many local, state, and national activities, contests, and trips. They have an established supervised agricultural project uh, where they have met all the state requirements for income and investments. Um, would the state FFA de degree recipients present please come to the stage? All right, so when your name is called, if you could please step forward to be recognized. From Liberty Union, we have Alex Shy, Cade Kraft, Danielle Miller, Eddie Henderly, Jaden Smith, Madeline Savage, Mary Chestnut, Mason Love, Sydney Kagey, and Thomas Wolf. From Amanda Clear Creek, we have Logan Cray Kraft, Hannah Som, Riley McKeska, Emily Buckley. From Fairfield Union, we have Hannah LaCrone, Tabitha McCutcheon, Jaden Triplett, Miranda Walton, Josh Bell, Joey Bell, Annie Deo, Mitch King, Ethan Lepi, Jacob Markwood, Kate Markwood, Carly Miller, Brennan Rolls, Ronnie Rowley, and Jonah Starner. And from Bloom Carroll FFA, we have Delaney Moore and Sophia Gugliamato. Thank you. They were able to receive their award this past um, spring. And so one more time to recognize them on the stages also. So thank you. Lastly is the Proficiency Award. So the Agricultural Proficiency Award honors FFA members who, through their supervised agricultural experiences, have developed specialized skills that can, they can apply toward their future careers. Students can compete for awards in almost 50 areas, covering everything from agricultural communications to wildlife management. At the Ohio FFA Convention and Expo this past May, we had FFA members from our county receive recognition for having a state placing proficiency award. Would the state proficiency award recipients present please make your way to the stage? Uh, from Liberty Union, we had Brody Poston 
in turf grass management. From Liberty Union, we also had Danielle Miller in dairy production. Gavin Sims from Liberty Union was in agriculture, mechanics, design, and fabrication. Gavin Estep from Liberty Union was goat production. Mason Love from Liberty Union is beef production. And Hannah Som from Amanda Clear Creek was accounting. From Fairfield Union, we had Nate McCandlish with turf grass management, as well as landscape management. Uh, Joey Bell with landscape management and turf grass management and Ben Vider with forestry management. So, can we give them a round of applause? I forgot some. Thank you, Jenna. Congratulations to all of these members. Fairfield County 4-H was well represented at the Ohio State Fair this year. I would like to welcome to the stage 4-H educators, Aubrey Fowler and Leslie Cooksey, to introduce these outstanding youth and recognize their achievements. Thank you, Tina. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Haley, Stacy, Eileen, and Shannon, uh, who work in our office with us, for helping us get ready for the fair. Um, another thank you to Becca Goodman and our setup committee for assisting with uh, preparing for tonight's event, along with our junior fair board members. Additionally, we would like to thank all of our volunteers who put countless hours into helping our 4-H and FFA youth get ready, assist with the fair, and take time to educate our future leaders of our county. There's certainly no way we, we could accomplish all of this without their help. This year, eight Fairfield County 4-H members are receiving recognition for being overall winners at the Ohio State Fair in their project areas. These 4-H members each received a cloth trophy, which is the top honor in their 4-H project competition at the Ohio State Fair. Members, if you could step forward when I call your name. Audience, if you, would, if you could hold your applause until we announce all members, that would be much appreciated. Hannah Brown. Hannah received the cloth trophy in dress-up daywear, and she is a member of the Thurston Flying Fingers 4-H Club. Alexis Klein. Alexis received the clock trophy in cake decorating advanced for juniors. And she's a member of the Extraordinary Explorers 4 H Club. The rest of the clock trophy, you guys can come on up. Come over here. <laughs> Josiah and Max. Max Sims received the clock trophy in staying healthy junior. Max is a member of the Sewing Chefs 4 H Club. Sophia Preston. Received the clock trophy in Makeover My Space Junior. She is a member of the Green Extreme 4-H Club. Julia Rebo received the clock trophy in Grow Your Own Vegetables. Julia is a member of the Just Kidden 4-H Club. Kate Johnson received the clock trophy in Club Leadership. Kate is a member of the Carroll Country 4-Hers 4-H Club. Josiah Edwards received the clock trophy in Beekeeping Junior. Josiah is a member of the Carroll Country 4-Hers 4-H Club. And Brinley Hoisington received the clock trophy in Workforce Prep Junior. Brinley is a member of the Wild About Animals 4-H Club. Let's give all these 4-Hers a round of applause for their accomplishments. In addition to this fine group of our 4-H members, we also had 20 Fairfield County 4-H members that received the Outstanding of the Day Award at the Ohio State Fair. If you received the Outstanding of the Day Award at the Ohio State Fair, please stand to be recognized. There's Rachel up there. <laughs> In addition to these project competitions at the state fair level, our exhibitors had the option of competing in the livestock skillathons, livestock exhibitions, and judging contests at the state fair. If you participated in any of these items or events or other project areas at the 2022 Ohio State Fair, please stand to be recognized at this time. LS Tractors always has your next project in mind. 
And with our wide range of grapples, graders, and tillers, you always have the right tool for the job. Our specially designed root grapples and rake grapples allow you to move from project to project faster than ever. Make short work of even the toughest jobs with our box blade and rotary cutter attachments. And all of these versatile tools are available in a wide range of sizes, perfect for any model LS tractor. Just another way LS Tractor is helping you fit more work into the day. Call today to see how LS Tractor can help you with your next project or visit us at lstractorusa.com. Hi, I am Carrie Woody with United Way of Fairfield County. Our mission is to utilize all resources to achieve the greatest impact on our local needs. And this can only be accomplished by local support and generous donations from businesses like Buckeye Toyota through their Buckeye Cares program. This month, Buckeye Toyota will make a donation to the United Way with every vehicle sold. From all of us at United Way, we say thank you, Buckeye Toyota, for once again offering your support. The Fairfield County Fair is brought to you by Cryo Communications. The team at Cryo Communications is proud to support all of the participants in this year's Fairfield County Fair and congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Cryo Communications is celebrating a decade of helping to harness creativity and communication to connect our community. To learn more or contact Cryo Communications, check them out on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn or visit cryocommunications.com. We would now like to invite Tina back to the stage to introduce our outstanding 4-H awards. The Fairfield County 4-H Advisory Committee has provided solid youth development experiences and continually strives to present more recognition for county youth. The highest county honor that a 4-H'er can receive in the 4-H Youth Development Program is the award we will present here tonight. This outstanding 4-H'er award is awarded to all 4-H members who meet a prescribed set of standards established by the Fairfield County 4-H Advisory Committee. This year, nine members have, have accomplished these standards and will be recognized tonight. Members, please come on stage as your name is called. Ali Carter. Ali is the daughter of Joe and Shannon Carter of Carroll. She is a 10-year member of the Lithopolis Livestock 4-H Club. She has exhibited clothing, quilting, rabbits, cavy, and food and nutrition projects. Allie has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, member of the Fairfield County Fashion and Nutrition Board, and junior leaders 4-H club. She has had the opportunity to attend Carving New Ideas Workshop, State Fashion Review, and the Ohio 4-H Conference. She was selected to attend the 2021 National 4-H Congress in Atlanta, Georgia, as a State Achievement Award winner in the project area of Companion Animals. Some of her honors include receiving three clock trophies at the Ohio State Fair in the quilting projects, the junior best overall plaque for the Sew for Others project, and being best overall cavy showman for six years. One of her career highlights is having the ability to compete in small animal super showmanship twice at the Fairfield County Fair. Post-graduation, she is attending the Ohio State University, majoring in forestry, fisheries, and wildlife. Allie Carter, everybody. <laughs> Catherine Crow. Kate is the daughter of John and Lisa Crow. She is an eight-year member of the Unleashed and Pickerington Pet Pals 4-H clubs. She has exhibited clothing, shooting sports, alpaca, and dog projects. Kate has served as a club officer, assisted on the Fairfield County Fair Junior Dog Show Committee, and served in numerous roles with the state dog program. She has had the opportunity to attend the Ohio 4-H Conference and the Ohio State Fair as an exhibitor. 
she was able to attend the National 4-H Congress in Atlanta and the Citizenship Washington Focus Trip in Washington, D.C. Some of her career highlights include spending time with baby alpacas and representing the dog and alpaca programs by serving as canine and alpaca ambassadors. She also has honor of earning the Ohio State Fair Dog Show Exhibitor Versatility Award two times and has, has her, had her two dogs certified as therapy dogs to participate in the 4-H Pet Pals projects. She is thankful for all of the opportunities she has received in 4-H and has met many great people from across the state and country. Post-graduation, she is attending Wilmington College majoring in agriculture with a pre-vet focus. <laughs> Sophia Gugliamato. Sophia is the daughter of Gary and Janet Guglimato of Carroll. She is a 11-year member of the Rough Riders, Thurston Flying Fingers, and Shooting Sports 4-H Clubs. She has exhibited clothing, gardening, horse, shooting sports, and food of, and nutrition projects. Sophia has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, member of the Fairfield County Fashion and Nutrition Board, and State Fashion Board. She has had the opportunity to attend Making Extreme Counselors Workshop, Carving New Ideas Workshop, State Fashion Review, and Sea Camp. She was selected to serve as the 2021 Equine Ambassador and received the opportunity to attend the Leadership Washington Focus Trip in 2016. She was also selected to attend the 2022 National 4-H Congress in Atlanta, Georgia as a State Achievement Award winner and the project area of clothing and textiles. One of her career highlights is serving as a 4-H camp counselor for five years. Post-graduation, she is attending Ohio University Lancaster, majoring in consumer services or consumer science education. Andrew Huffman. He's not here. Okay. Sydney Summers. Oh. We'll get to Andrew in a moment. Sorry about that. Sydney is the daughter of Randy and Deanna Summers of Lithopolis. She's a nine year member of the Green Extreme 4 H Club. She has exhibited gardening, health and safety, leadership photography, and food and nutrition projects. Sydney has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, and team captain. She has had the opportunity to attend multi-county counselors camp, carving new ideas workshop, and the Ohio State Fair 4-H project judging. Some of her career highlights include serving as the president of the Green Extreme 4-H club and serving as a Fairfield County 4-H camp counselor for five years. She is honored to serve Canal Winchester and Fairfield County in many promotional ways, observing former campers at fair and other events, and is grateful for the lifelong friends she has made. Post-graduation, she is attending The Ohio State University, majoring in nursing. Andrew Huffman. Huffman. Andrew is the son of Scott and Lisa Huffman of Pickerington. He is a 10-year-old member of the Extraordinary Explorers 4-H Club. He has exhibited beef, environmental sciences, leadership, and mechanical and engineering science projects. Andrew has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, and a member and officer of the Fairfield County Junior Fair Board. He has had the opportunity to attend the Ohio State Fair Skillathon and 4-H judging and the leadership Washington focus trip in Washington, D.C. One of his career highlights has been his County 4-H involvement, which includes camp counseling at Tar Hollow and serving as a junior fair board member. He also has the honor of winning Outstanding of the Day at the Ohio State Fair for his 4-H project work. Post-graduation, he is attending the University of Notre Dame studying computer engineering on a pre-medical track. Congratulations, Andrew.
Alyssa Swick. Alyssa is the daughter of Ralph and Crystal Swick of Pleasantville. She is an 11-year member of the Pygmies Plus 4-H Club. She has exhibited beef, goats, poultry, shooting sports, and food and nutrition projects. Alyssa has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, and a member of the Fairfield County Fashion and Nutrition Board. She has had the opportunity to represent Fairfield County at the Ohio State Fair for cake decorating five times clothing and textiles two times, and once for photography. She even received two outstanding of the day at the Ohio State Fair for her project work. Some of her career highlights include serving as the 2020 Fairfield County Caprine representative, Pygmy Goat premier exhibitor, and showman of showmen in 2019 and 2020. She has also had the honor of winning the County Merit Award for Beef, Goats, Poultry, Clothing and Textiles, Creative Arts, and Shooting Sports. Post high school graduation, she plans to earn a bachelor's degree in business and continue to work within the agriculture industry. <laughs> Elizabeth Swinehart. Elizabeth is the daughter of Mark and Cindy Swinehart of Lancaster. She is a nine-year member of the Pygmies Plus 4-H Club. She has exhibited creative arts, quilting, self-determined, rabbit and goat projects. Elizabeth has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, and a member and officer of the Fairfield County Junior Leaders 4-H Club. She has had the opportunity to attend the Ohio State Fair 4-H Project judging and the Citizenship Washington Focus Trip in Washington, D.C. Some of her career highlights include serving as the Caprine representative, volunteering as a camp counselor, and participating in 4-H Day. She has had the honor of earning an outstanding of the day with her quilt at the Ohio State Fair. Post-graduation, she is attending the University of Finley, studying pre-vet animal science. Congratulations. <laughs> Jaden Triplett. Jaden is the daughter of Jamie Miller and James Triplett of Lancaster. She is a nine-year member of the Rough Riders 4-H Club. She has exhibited photography, horse, shooting sports, goats, and food and nutrition projects. Jaden has served as a club officer, 4-H camp counselor, and team captain, and a member of the Fairfield County Junior Fair Board. She has had the opportunity to attend the Ohio State Fair as a livestock exhibitor the State Super 8 equine events, and leadership camp. She has also had the honor of competing at Quarter Horse Congress for the Communication Contest in 2019, earning the State Equine Super 8 Award in 2019 and winning Graham Champion for contesting at the Fairfield County Fair in 2015. One of her career highlights is the opportunity to serve as a 4-H camp counselor for five years. Post-graduation, she is attending Hawking College, and majoring in equine assistance services and equine health and therapies. Congratulations, Jade. Please join me in recognizing the outstanding careers of these four age members. Woo! Thank you. We now invite the sponsors for this honor to please come forward for the presentation of the award. Sponsoring the silver trays, Dr. Megan Miller on behalf of the Raymond and Virginia Miller family. Pin set sponsors include Joel and Bonnie Bright, Don and Sheila Burns and family, James Bope Insurance, KKEZ 4-H Club, and Greg Coulter, Woods family. You may go ahead and ex exit the stage and please join me in applauding the efforts of these outstanding youth.
We would like to thank the Junior Fair Board members who will be escorting our Queen candidates to the stage. I would now like to introduce the Junior Fair Queen Coordinator, Angela Cryl, to the stage. Thank you all very much. Uh, you all know that this is uh, the moment that 10 young ladies have been waiting for for several weeks now. Um, I want to first thank Hannah Salm and Lexi and Sam, Lexi Heim and Sam Hurst, for doing such an outstanding job this past year as the Queen in Court. Um, I had the pleasure of seeing Hannah in action at the State Fair and representing this county with such poise and grace, and she's an outstanding Queen, and her court is just as lovely and outstanding as she is. So we should be very proud that these young ladies are from Fairfield County. The process that these young ladies go through each year um, is that they fill out an application and they are selected from all of the female 4-H'ers that are eligible uh, to be the 10 finalists that are here tonight. They go through a, a very intense interview process where they walk into a room with three judges and they are questioned for several minutes and they present the best of themselves to those judges. That includes leadership, 4-H and FFA involvement, community involvement, and their ability to handle grace under pressure. Tonight, these young ladies and the three that win will have not won a crown, but earned a crown. And all 10 of these young ladies have earned their spot on this stage. They are the best of the best. They are outstanding. And again, we should be super proud that they are from Fairfield County. They will be the future leaders. They will be the ones here at the fair in the future that are setting up the booths and helping with weigh-ins and being advisors. Um, and so what I'd like to do at this moment in time is ask anyone who has been a fair queen at Fairfield County or been a part of a court to please stand up. Right? That's what this is about. These young ladies are leaders, and these women that you just saw stand are the leaders here today. Um, and once you're a fair queen or court, you're always a fair queen or part of the court. It's just part of the job. Um, so I want to thank you uh, 10 young women for being part of this process, for being such outstanding young, young ladies. Um, you are going to, all 10 of you walk away with your heads held high. As I said, you've earned your way on this stage tonight. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing who walks away with the grant. So without further ado, I'll turn it back to Tina. Thank you, Angela, for your hard work in the selection process. Before we hear the judges' selections, we would like you to meet each one of these fine candidates. As I call each candidate's name, will she please come to the stage? Grace Aaron. Grace Aaron, 17, daughter of Stephen and Aaron Aaron. She attends Hilliard Bradley High School and is a member of Cloverleaf Livestock 4-H Club. Why is it important to educate young girls on agriculture and what is the importance of women in agriculture? As many of you may know, our world and our agriculture industry is vastly decreasing and declining. Out of the whole United States, under 7% of the people are involved in agriculture. Out of those people, only a fourth of them include women. So for the future of our livestock industry, how are we supposed to include those young, inspiring girls to be future farmers? It's important for us to educate them on the importance of agriculture and to help them include uh, their future. I would like to say to all those women out there and all those inspiring young girls, agriculture is very important, and I encourage you to and get yourself involved in it. Thank you. Lacey Bachman. Lacey Bachman, 16, daughter of Greg and Christy Bachman. She attends Bloom Carroll High School 
and is a member of Unleashed 4-H Club and Blue Pharaoh FFA. How have 4-H and FFA impacted your life? Well, to start, I would say 4-H and FFA haven't impacted my life. They've been my life. If we uh, add up all of the years my family has been a part of 4-H, I believe it's 175 years. So quite literally, 4-H and FFA have been in my blood. 4-H and FFA, they've given me so many opportunities to succeed, to be standing here right now talking to all of you, or to be in a judging contest down the road. But not only have they given me an opportunity to succeed, they've given me an opportunity to meet all of you. They've given me an opportunity to meet so many, to make so much, many relationships outside of this county and outside of this state. And it's all of those relationships have one thing in common, and it's our love of agriculture, and it's given me a passion to advocate for the biggest industry in the world. Thank you. Isabella Bird. Isabella, 19, daughter of Nielsen and Christina Bird. She attends Columbus State Community College and is a member of Fairfield Fowl Friends 4-H Club. What piece of advice would you give a younger 4-H member? Before I answer my question, I want to quickly say thank you for everybody being here tonight and supporting everybody. Um, my advice for a younger 4-H member is to push yourself to your limits. 4-H is a great opportunity to build yourself even FFA is, and I really want everybody to reach the highest potential that they can. Thank you. Annie Deo. <laughs> Annie is 17, daughter of Heidi and Mark Deo. She attends Fairfield Union High School and is a member of Rough Riders 4-H Club and Fairfield Union FFA. What is the situation you have grown from the most that has shaped who you are today? Uh, in July 2020, I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease with a, when I'm one of the few people in the United States that have it. Um, through this, I've truly matured as an individual and have learned the importance of never taking a moment for granted and truly just finding your passion. Um, with this, I've truly learned the importance of family and how they're always there for me and always supporting and giving their full love. So thank you, guys. Evelyn Hill. Evelyn is 15, daughter of Jessica and Jason Hill. She attends Lancaster High School and is a member of Shooting Stars 4-H Club. What has 4-H taught you about yourself? Wow, 4-H and FFA bring brilliant young people to these stages. Personally, 4-H has been quite a journey, and I think my parents can, can agree with that. Personally, 4-H has pushed me to my limits, and it's taught me that I'm way more resilient than I ever thought possible. So to every person who is in 4-H is not in 4-H for life, keep pushing through because you will make it at the end of the day. Thank you. Samantha Hurst. Samantha is 18, daughter of Darren and Amy Hurst. She attends OSU Newark and is a member of Blaze and Buckeyes 4-H Club. What was your most impactful experience serving as the 2021 Fairfield County Junior Fair Queen's second attendant? I would say my most impactful experience was the memorable people I met along the way. But most importantly, standing on this stage a year ago, I had no clue I would meet a lifelong friend. Hannah Som has taught me to be confident in who I am. She's helped me come out of my comfort zone, and she's also taught me a lot about FFA that I didn't know before because I didn't have the resources. 
So thank you. Thank you. Kate Markwood. Kate Markwood is 18, daughter of Jody and Travis Markwood. She attends Fairfield Union High School and is a member of Country Kids 4-H Club and Fairfield Union FFA. How has 4-H impacted your life? So 4-H has been a huge part of my life the past nine years, and I really don't know where I would be without it. When I think of how it has impacted my life, I think of three words. Friendship, community, and responsibility. The friendships I have made are like no other. I really don't know where I would have met all these people if it wouldn't have been for 4-H. The community here in Fairfield County is amazing. All of the hard work that's put into this fair really does go unnoticed. And the responsibility that you learn while raising your animals, doing all these projects, is like no other. Thank you. Adriana Rodriguez Dinner. Seventeen, daughter of Jody Dinner and Sydney Rodriguez. She attends Lancaster High School and is a member of Shooting Stars 4-H Club. What do you hope to gain if you become the Junior Fair Queen? Thank you. As the Junior Fair Queen, I hope to gain to get to know every single 4 h -er. Now, I know that's a big goal. I mean, every single 4 h -er in Fairfield County. I know that's a big goal, but it is a goal, and I should, I intend to reach it if I become Junior Fair Queen. And even if I don't, I know that I have met so many 4-H'ers throughout my entire 4-H career, and I have even heard from some of their parents and friends that I have impacted their lives already, and I want to continue to do that, and that is a passion of mine to impact people and their lives and to just be a good person all around. I also hope to teach people about what 4-H is. 4-H has been the best part of my life. It's what's gotten me here today. It has what has helped me reach my goals all throughout middle school and high school, and I'm so grateful to be standing on this stage today. Thank you so much. Allison Sponseller. Seventeen, daughter of Andy and Melissa Sponseller. She attends Liberty Union High School and is a member of Wild About Animals 4 H Club. What is your favorite fair exhibit? My favorite fair exhibit here at the fair is definitely the display barn, which is now in the Ed Sands building this year. I love seeing all of the different 4-H and FFA projects that members have been working on over the years, and it's also a great way for the community to see all the opportunities that 4-H members are given. Thank you. Jaden Triplett. Eighteen, daughter of Jamie Miller and James Triplett. She attends Hawking College, is a member of Rough Riders 4-H Club and Fairfield Union FFA. How has your 4-H experiences impacted your future? For my 4-H experience, it has mainly consisted of being part of the equine industry. Where I've had the opportunity to have a lot of great experiences and meet a lot of great people that I continue to hope have the relationship with them. And because of this, I'm pursuing a career in the equine industry through Equine Assistant Services and Equine Health and Therapies at Hopkins. Thank you. We now invite 2021 Fairfield County Junior Fair Queen Hannah Salm to the stage. Well, I know you've had an exciting year. Will you please tell us all about it? Yes, the year has definitely been very eventful. First, I would just like to start off by saying thank you to all of you for coming out on this very cold evening um, to celebrate all of the accomplishments that we have here in Fairfield County before our fair week even kicks off. 
My year started back in January when I had the opportunity to represent Fairfield County at the Ohio Fairs Queen Contest, where I placed in the top 15 out of over 75 queens representing um, the entire state of Ohio. From there, my year continued to stay busy as I got to participate in two uh, parades and travel to nine fairs all across the state of Ohio representing Fairfield County. But before I could have all of those accomplishments, I was just like one of these 10 girls sitting here on the stage. And to be honest, all I can remember is hoping that the past fair queen would stop talking um, so that I could finally uh, not think about puking on the stage because of how anxious I was. She talked about shredded chicken sandwiches. That's all I remember. The rest was a blur and I was ready for it to be over. So I will try and keep this short and sweet. Um, that night, I walked off the stage and I was met with a lot of hugs and flowers from friends and family, and I felt on top of the world. Um, from there, I went back to my camper and I went through a gift that I got of a piece of advice. And as I flipped through, I started to ask myself, what piece of advice am I going to leave for the next fair queen? And that's still a question that I continue to ask myself, but it was something that was brought about through my entire fair journey. So to start out with, I would like to take you on a little bit of a trip of some of the unique experiences that I've gotten to take part in throughout my year. First, at the fair, I had the opportunity to see our fair as a whole in a different light than what I'd gotten to see before. There are a lot of unique aspects that I didn't really get to see because I was always, always hiding out um, in the livestock barns. So that was really nice. We had a kitty tractor pull. That was great. I got to meet um, Abe Lincoln. That was a new experience for me. So that was definitely interesting and not something that I had gotten to do um, before. From there, I got to travel to the state fair where I got to sit in on a joint Ohio House and Senate committee hearing talking about agriculture across the state of Ohio, which was a really great experience to see how agriculture impacted people um, all across the state, not just at county fairs, but at all levels. From there, probably my most unique fair experience would be traveling all the way to Wood County. Um, and I had a friend at Wood County, and it just so happened that she wrote me into doing a straw bale stacking contest. For those of you who have not participated in a straw bale stacking contest before, it is quite the event. Um, it consists of stacking 35 bales in the bed of a truck, driving all the way around the track, and then restacking them in the same square. Now, that seems pretty simple to begin with, um, but we really didn't know what we were doing, and we signed up for the contest about like 10 minutes before it started, so it was quite the adventure for all of us. Now, going back to that piece of advice book, um, I sat down about two weeks ago and I said, what the heck am I going to put in here? Because I had a lot of different things, but what advice do I really have? So I decided to pull out my FAIR application from last year and I started looking at the questions and all of the answers that I gave. Then I got to the question of why do you want to be the 2021 Fairfield County Fair Queen? My answer was quite simple and had two parts. First was that I love to talk and if you're someone that knows me, you can confirm this. Second is that I have a love and passion for agriculture and serving as the fair queen allows me to combine both of those passions. Looking back on my year, I had a lot of unique experiences, whether that was hiding under a table at the Ohio Fair Managers Conference to scare Leslie, stacking those straw bales, meeting Abe Lincoln and everything in between, I was able to accomplish my goal. So my piece of advice for whatever girl gets to stand here next is always go after your goal. Whatever that looks like and however you need to, always work to accomplish that. And before I could get here, I have a lot of people that I would like to thank for um, the journey along the way. First, to my mom and dad, um, thank you for quite literally allowing me to be here. Uh, I think they were a little scared when I first said I wanted to run for Fair Queen as they saw the dollar signs roll by from all the dresses I would want to buy, the trails the fairs that I would want to travel to, and most importantly, all the fair food that I would eat along the way. Um, to my older brother, Eli, who always kept me humble whether I asked for it or not, whether that was telling me that my dress was ugly, my hair looked bad, or I should go back to bed because I looked exhausted and had bags under my eyes. Yes, he has told me all three of these things throughout my time as fair queen. Um, next to Aubrey, Leslie, and Angela, thank you for always answering all the millions of questions that I had even if that meant reading through my Fair Queen invite five times to go through all of the spelling mistakes that I had, and there were hardly even five words on the page. Next to our junior and senior fair boards, thank you for all of the behind the scenes work that you do here at the fair. We all greatly appreciate that, 
Um, and it really made my year amazing, especially the Junior Fair Board, who always made sure I was fed last year while I was passing out awards during fairs. Um, I definitely appreciate that. And then um, to one of the biggest role models in my life, Hannah Hedinger, thank you for always being there whenever I need you, um, taking me to fairs or allowing me to go over to your house and rant when I'm supposed to be watching your child and helping you clean, but it all worked out in the end. And then lastly to Sam and to Lexi, um, I can't believe a year ago today we sat here on the stage and really didn't know each other at all, and now I can confidently say I have two lifelong best friends, and as I promised, in the Bobcat we trust. Um, behind that, we took a selfie with the stuffed bobcat every day last year. It was really great. Um, so thank you, girls, for an amazing experience. To each of you, uh, one of you will be standing here before you know it. Um, just take in all the memories. This is about to be one of the best weeks of your life. And before you know it, the year is going to go by, and you're going to be the one passing on your crown. So soak it all up while you can. Thank you. And for a final time, my name is Hannah Som, and I'm your 2021 Fairfield County Fair Queen. Please join me in thanking the following sponsors of the Junior Fair Queen Contest. Queen Luncheon, Hannah Som, Angela Cryo of Cryo Communications, and Lisa Heim of Fitzpatrick Enterprises. Sashes and engravings for Junior Fair Queen in attendance and hosting of the candidate interviews. The First Freeman Bank, a division of Vinton County National Bank. Embroidered blankets for Queen in attendance. Catherine Cheek, owner of Promotions by Design. A crystal crown pendant and necklace for the Queen in attendance. Ava Jewelers. Queen's photo, Dave Saunders Photography. Tiaras for the Queen in court and corsages for all candidates. Angela Cryo. Arm bouquets for Queen in attendance, past fair Queen, Emily Burns Black. Trophy, Jake Sportswear. We also extend thanks to the Queen Contest Coordinator, Angela Cryo, along with the Junior Fair Queen Selection Committee and the judges for donating their time to select and interview the candidates. And now for the results of the Queen Contest. And I would like to remind the Queen and attendance and the outstanding for each winners to stay for photos and for the newspaper after the show. Okay, folks? Oh, the envelopes, please. The 2022 Fairfield County Junior Fair second attendant is Adriana Rodriguez Dinner. The 2022 Fairfield County Junior Fair first attendant is Kate Markwood. the moment we've been waiting for all evening, especially these ladies here, the 2022 Fairfield County Junior Fair Queen is Allison Sponseller. Thank you, everybody, for attending, and may you all have a safe and wonderful fair. Fairfield Federal, in cooperation with Interface Video, presents the 172nd Annual Fairfield County Fair. Brought to you in part by Cryo Communications. Bay Food Market, Dagger Law, The Frankie Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield County Parks, 
Fairhope Hospice and Palliative Care, Buckeye Lake Marina, The Frame Shop, Fairfield Medical Center, Buckeye Toyota, and Fultz Ag.